Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss 10 things not to do during exams. Starting the topic, I would request you to subscribe the channel if you like its content. You can also follow me on Facebook and the page name is Biology Hub. You can follow me on Instagram, the page name is Bayan. And you can also follow me on Blogger. My blog's name is love to learn from life.blogspot.com. Exams, do's and don'ts. The first thing which during your exam is do not use social media. Avoid using WhatsApp, Force, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as small talks. They convert into conversations and it's a wastage of time. During exams, if you avoid use of WhatsApp, Facebook or Instagram, what happens is you just write a hi and then someone writes again and you write again. So it becomes a whole lot of conversation and it's mere wastage of time. Moving you need not do is that do not ask your friends about the amount of revision that they have done. Now this is very common which we people generally do during our revision time that we keep on calling our friends and ask them Aapne kitna kar liya? How much have you done? What's the revision? What is, are you revising? Have you done this topic? Please don't do that because it discourages. Sometimes the kids are also in a habit of telling a lie. They just lie to you and you will be frustrated. They'll, uh, even if they tell a truth, suppose he or she has completed four chapters and you are only on second. So now you will just hurry up things or us hurry mein you will just miss out on a few topics which is not good. Plus, it also happens like for example, someone tells you I have done only two chapters and maybe you have done four. Now what will happen? You will be, oh, oh I have done four chapters. You will become lazy and your revision will lag. So do not discuss it with your friends about your revision. You need not do this is to change the books last minute. This also many kids they do. Which book are you following? They just ask their friends. Suppose he or she tells I am following this reference. So you will immediately go to the market and buy that book. Please stop changing of books during last minutes. Your uh, course book plus one reference book with your notes are enough for any exams to score good. The fourth thing which you should not is procrastinating now this is when you become lazy on purpose for example if there are three days left for preparations now what do you, what do you need uh, what do you need to do divide your syllabus in the first two days for first two days on the third day do complete revision of the topic now you have done completed your syllabus in two days and then for the third day you have revised the whole topic you are done for your exams but some people they just you know waste the first day so do not waste your first day in some cases and second day in just planning fine and do not get lazy and delayed in revision kids they just fall off lazy waste their first day maybe the half day after the exam also they'll waste it up so what happens is that's procrastination that because that is becoming lazy on purpose don't do it it will help you if you will not do it the fourth thing which which you need not do is do not get influenced by the study pattern of your friends now again you keep asking how do you study which timetable have you made which books are you following that's very bad so do not compare your pace of syllabus completion with others work at your own pace with your own strategies as this is not the time to copy others Suppose your friend has completed four easy chapters and you have done only two difficult ones. Don't think you are behind. Just focus on your revision because you have completed two difficult ones. It will be easy for you to cover up those four which your friend has done. This also means do not talk about your preparations to any of your friends. Sixth pointer which you should is try not to change your timetable 
try the timetable which you have framed for your completion of syllabus try not to change it the last minute stick to your timetable please do not change like for example uh, maybe you have uh, decided that uh, uh, from 1st of june to uh, 3rd of june you are going to revise something and you are unable to do it now what do you do you change your whole timetable don't change it stick to the timetable only that okay fine i'll follow give some you know uh, give some space at the last for the first things to be revised so do not change your timetable seventh pointer related to the things not to do not do the chapters left as options on the last moment or last minute for example you have 12 chapters for your syllabus and you suppose have left two that okay fine i will not do these two chapters if you have left those two chapters please leave them don't do them at the last minute because then it will create a confusion the chapters you have left as option from the syllabus don't do them at the last use that time to make thorough revision of the chapters which you have done so that whatever you have done that is you are more confident in it and you can easily reproduce that thing in your exam the eighth thing not to do in your exam is try to solve the questions now you need to so, uh, try to solve the questions related to your notes just do not flip pages now this is something uh, uh, children what what are they in a habit of they have made those mind maps they have made their notes they'll just flip pages i, I know this i know this I no don't do it just take a few sample papers and then solve questions related to whatever you have done from that sample paper it will help you create a confidence it will help you you know build a confidence for the exams one thing which you should not do uh, is do not eat or eat outside overeating stop overeating and stop eating outside because eating out or overeating can make you sick at the wrong time maybe a day before your exam fine so if you overeat it will make you sleepy so during your exams you should have more of liquid diet and light food which will keep you active will not make you lethargic fine so you should stop overeating and also you should stop going out and eat because maybe the thing which you have eaten is spoiled or something whatever and makes you sick a day before exam so whatever you have prepared will all go down the drain fine so you should and the second thing is you should eat healthy during exam eat more of nuts eat more of salads eat more of have more of fluids which will keep you healthy and also they are very good rich food for your brain to keep your brain active and the last thing which we are going to discuss we should not is we should you know it's not cut off on our sleeping hours proper sleeping hours should be there there are many benefits of sleep uh, proper sleep but i have jotted down six here it improves your concentration a better memory and recall you need it during your exams you need to recall things during your exams so if you have proper sleeping hours it will help you rejuvenate your brain and it also aids creativity helps you to make better decisions and produce uh, and it also reduces focus on negative things that okay fine i'll not be able to do good in my exam this that and whatsoever so you should have proper sleeping hours and which the thing which you should not do is just lack on your sleep like for example some kids are um, in a habit of you know uh, studying for a long period of time and they you know cut short their sleep please don't do it so these are the benefits of a sleeping of or or having a good night's sleep so we have discussed 10 benefits uh, or sorry we have discussed 10 things which you should you should avoid during your uh, doing your exams during your exams it, if you follow these things these things they are going to help you a lot to concentrate and give your exams properly so it's a thanks as of now and good luck for your exams so keep liking sharing subscribing thank you